Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Selenium Tech Automation. In this today tutorial, I am going to discuss about the very most important and the very common Selenium interview question that is why do we use constructor in Selenium page object model framework? Okay, the most interview the most important interview question that is why do we use constructor in Selenium page object model framework? Okay, before that, what is a page object model framework here or what is POM framework? Okay, for that, inside our page object model, we will have different different classes created for each and every web page in our in our application, right? So, what is page object model? In our page object model, we are going to create different different classes for each and every web page in our application. Right. So, for example, there is a login page. So, for that login page, we are going to create one login page class and also there is one home page. For that home page also, we are going to create one more uh, class for that home page. So, likewise, how many number of pages inside our application. So, those many page classes we are going to create. Okay. That is a process inside our page object model framework. Okay. For example, there is a login page. Okay, for example, there is a login page. We are going to create one login page class for that particular login page, right? So here for each web page, we are going to create a separate class, right? For each web page, we are going to create a separate class, right? For example, here you can see this is for login page. This is for electronics page. So likewise, if we have a uh, many number of pages inside our application so that we are going to create those many web pages along with the classes, right? So here and in in each class we used to define a constructor also okay for each web page okay sorry for each class so we are going to define a constructor also for example this is a login page so here you can see i have created a class here that is public class login page okay this is our class that is login page so here i created a one constructor that is login page okay here i created a constructor that is login page okay this entire block i created a constructor for this particular login page okay so in each class we are going to define a constructor in that way we created one constructor for this only login page and we defined a constructor also here okay and we defined a constructor also here so what is a constructor here okay constructor have the same as a same name as the class name okay what is a constructor here constructor have the same name as the class name and it will not have any return type okay constructor have the same name as the same uh, constructor have the same name as the class name and it won't have any return type and it will be called whenever we are created an object of that particular class okay and this constructor will be called whenever create an object for that particular class so here we used to write this constructor for each and every class in the selenium page object model framework okay so here we used to write okay so he here we used to write this constructor for each and every class in the selenium page object model framework for example if you consider this electronics page also we already created a constructor here okay here we have already created a constructor here you can see this is also one constructor for this particular electronics page okay so that's why that's why we are going to create a constructor for each and every page class inside our selenium page object model framework okay so why we are creating the constructor okay for what purpose we are using this constructor here okay means so why we are creating this constructor and for what purpose we are creating this constructor okay the answer is it actually required or not okay that is the question here okay so why we are creating constructor here and also for what purpose we are using this constructor here and also whether it is actually required or not okay that is the question here okay so let's get started our uh, today concept so that is why do we need a constructor in our selenium page object model framework okay here the answer is we will have a main page class right so the answer here is we will have a main page class right in the page object model so if there is something like you know something like you know there are some 10 pages like uh, 10 page classes like login page home page and uh, cart page so likewise you can have uh, 10 pages okay inside our application okay if there are some 10 page classes we are going to define all the constructor for all these 
cons uh, pages right so but we have to maintain the same driver instance across all the page classes right so for example there are uh, 10 pages inside our application for all these 10 pages so we are going to create a constructor for that particular classes for that particular page classes okay but here we have to maintain the same driver instance that is web driver driver okay but here we have to maintain the same driver instance across all the pages right so for example this is for login page if you go to another page that is electronic space so there also we need to maintain the we have to maintain the same web driver instance across all the pages right we have to maintain the same driver instances across all the pages right so if we are opening chrome browser all the classes should be performed in that browser only okay suppose if i am working with chrome browser okay suppose if i am working with uh, some chrome browser so for all the classes it should be performed in the same browser only okay if we are calling one particular class it will load a browser and if we are calling the other class it will load some other browser and if there is like multiple instances of browser what will happen okay what will happen so that is not the expected way right so that's the reason why we have to use the same driver instances for all our page classes inside this page object model framework okay so in order to maintain the driver instance same across all the classes we are actually construct we are actually using this constructor in all the classes okay in order to maintain the same driver instances across all the page classes we are actually using this constructor in all the classes okay so let me explain in detail in detail how we are passing this driver instance from the main page okay so let's say this is a main class okay let's say this is uh, let's say this is our main class okay so here i will write we used to create a constructor object okay so here i will write like uh, for example i am telling here I will write like web driver driver equals to new chrome driver okay here I write like we used to create a web driver object here right so that is web driver driver equals to new chrome driver so and then what we will do we will create the object of the class okay we will create object of the classes like for login page for example for login page okay for login page login equals to new login page right so this is i created one object in the same way for home page okay for home page home page equals to new home page right this is for home page so likewise we can have a number of pages based upon your application right so and then what we will do we will create the object here of the classes like this below okay we are going to create objects for all the page classes like this that is login page login equals to new login page or home page home page home page equals to new home page and now what will happen we create the object of login page class okay now what will happen we create the object of the login page class what happens which will call the constructor okay which will calls the constructor of the login page class so what is the constructor here okay so what is the constructor here this whole block we can consider as a constructor here okay this entire block we can consider it as a constructor for example let me remove these lines and uh, let me add it below okay here what we will do okay here what we did okay we created an object for the classes like for example this is for login page and i created an object here with the help of new keyword right so and in the same way we created an object for home page so now what will happen here which will call the constructor of the login page class okay which will calls the constructor of the login page class so what is the constructor here this is our constructor this entire block is our constructor block okay this whole block we can consider as a constructor block here okay so this constructor okay so this constructor is actually accepting an argument called web driver driver okay so this so this constructor is actually accepting a an argument called web driver driver right argument of type web driver right so we need to pass the web driver over here okay so we need to pass the web driver over here that is web driver driver equals to new chrome driver okay so let me explain it one more time okay so here we created the object for login page 
class so what will happen which will call the constructor of the login page class so what is the constructor here this particular block will tell you this is called as constructor okay so this constructor actually accepting an argument what kind of argument of type it is that is web driver type okay this constructor is an argument type of web driver so here it is accepting one argument that is the reference is web driver driver so we need to pass the web driver over here right so we need to pass the web driver over here okay so let me explain in detail so here we are passing web driver instance of this page class okay so here we are passing web driver instance for this login page class okay similarly so like for any other classes like is there any home page or shopping cart page so likewise okay any other page we are passing the driver instance that is web driver driver equals to new chrome driver okay web driver driver equals to new chrome driver hence the same driver instance okay hence the same driver instance will be maintained across all the classes in our page object model framework right similarly like for uh, other classes like home page or cart page any other page we are passing the driver instance like this that is web driver driver equals to new chrome driver new chrome driver okay hence the same driver instance will be maintained across all the classes in our page object model framework right so this is the main purpose of the constructor we know constructor will called whenever we create the object for this class okay so this is the main purpose of the constructor as we know already constructor will be called whenever we create an object for this class okay whenever we created the object for this class so then automatically constructor will be called here and whenever we created the object of the class we are passing okay we are passing the driver instance also hence the same driver instance maintains across all the classes right okay whenever we created an object for the class we are passing the driver instance whenever we created an object for this class we are passing the driver instance also hence the same driver hence the same driver instance maintains across all the class objects across all the classes in your page object model framework right so you can call any page classes in your framework okay so now we can call any page classes in our framework it will perform the actions in the same opened window and it will not open in any new browser right okay so we can call okay we can call any page classes in our framework it will perform the actions in the same opened window that is for chrome driver only it is not going to open any new window with the help of this web driver reference okay when it comes to the particular block that is when it comes to the particular block that is this block when it comes to this particular block means this particular driver that is web driver driver okay when it comes to this particular block so means this particular block that is web driver driver okay web driver driver when we will use this keyword here when we will use this keyword here whenever conflicts between the local variable name okay whenever the conflicts between the local variable name okay local variable name and global variable name this is our local variable name and this is our global variable name i have already declared the above of our class method right sorry the constructor okay this keyword when we will use whenever we have conflicts between the local variable name and the global variable name right so what will happen here in login page we actually declared a variable okay in login page we actually declare a variable that is web driver driver okay we actually declare a variable that is web driver driver to that driver variable we are assigning a value which is the driver that is web driver driver okay for this okay we actually declare a variable that is web driver driver to that particular driver variable okay we are assigning a value uh, we are assigning a value here which is the driver that is web driver driver that means this one web driver driver equals to new web driver okay that is this one that is web driver driver equals to new chrome driver okay that is this one that is web driver driver equals to new chrome driver hence we are maintaining the same driver instance to the login page class as well as for home page as well as for cart page if we have more uh, pages also we are going to maintain the same driver instance across all our classes okay so here we could see one more line that is page factory dot init elements of driver comma this keyword 
ओके हियर व्हाट डज दिस इनिट एलिमेंट्स विल डू इनिट एलिमेंट्स मेथड एक्चुअली यूज्ड टू इनिशियलाइज ऑल द पेज ऑब्जेक्ट एलिमेंट्स फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर लॉगिन पेज क्लास ओके दिस व्हाट दिस व्हाट डज दिस इनिट एलिमेंट मेथड एक्चुअली वी विल डू हियर इट इज यूज्ड टू इनिशियलाइज ऑल द पेज ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लास दैट इज लॉगिन पेज क्लास ओके सो वी यूज्ड टू डिक्लेअर द एलिमेंट्स यूजिंग एट द रेट फाइंड बाय मेथड ओके so uh, with the help of okay so with the help of at the rate find by we are going to declare all our page object elements right so now so whatever elements you declared using this at the rate find by it will getting initialized okay it will getting initialized when we call this method that is init elements method okay which is a static method of the page factory class okay which is a uh, which is a static method of this particular page factory class so we are actually using constructor for this page factory and init elements as well okay page factory and init elements as well so that's the reason why we are going to use the constructor for all our page classes okay so i hope uh, this video will clear you if you have any difficulties uh, about uh, why we need to use a constructor in our selenium uh automation tool in page object model framework okay i hope this video will help you if you face this question during your interview question okay so if you like this video please drop a like and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel selenium tech automation for more videos and also please do subscribe to my channel selenium tech automation if you are new to here and also please share this video to your friends or colleagues so that they will also learn about this concept and also your share will helps this video to recommend for more people okay if you have any doubts please ping in the comment section so that i can reply on the same comment okay so that's all it for now guys so we will connect with our next video until then take care everyone have a nice day signing off selenium tech automation bye guys